All right, let's get on to other news here. Uh, let's go ahead and play the music, man. Let's go ahead and play the music. I mean, it's not really, not really this, but we're gonna play it anyways. We're gonna play it anyways. Ah, really miss my nigga. Ah, this breakdown. Really miss my nigga. White people, white people. That's been hotter than anybody in the Yo, world could do. That it's shit like I sucks. Damn. That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the air. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let's let, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. This has to be the fastest shutdown we've ever seen. Is this the fastest shutdown we've ever seen, chat? It has to be the fastest shutdown we've ever seen. Literally, we talked about this already. Um, Firewalk Studios literally went from, all right, Concord came out to... Not even a week later, the server shut down. They refunded everybody's money. Said, "All right, man, we gonna come back. We we go come back, man. We we gotta figure out what's going on. We're gonna revamp this game, and, and you know we gonna we gonna take a break. We'll be back. We'll be back." Then rumors came out. This this game, you know, took eight years to make and four hundred million dollars. We still don't know if that's true, but then that came out. Now we're here. Now we are here. Firewalk Studios is done. They are done, done, done. They are shutting down. So we went from Concord, you know, the lone game being, you know, servers being shut down to now the whole studio is going. Shame, shame, shame. I don't like to see this, but we should have seen this coming. I, you know, I was one of the, the pessimistic people. I remained even more pessimistic after they shut down the servers. I was like, okay, well, everybody kept saying it was going to go free to play. Going to go free to play. You know, that that's going to be the move, right? People didn't even want to pay $40 for the game. It's going to go free to play. But I'm like, if you didn't like the game from the start, why would the game be a free to play make you want to want to play it? I get trying it, but that's what the beta is for, right? If you wanted to play it and try it out, that's what the beta is for. The beta costs you zero dollars. And we saw literally in the beginning, people were hate watching Concord. We talked about that. People were hate watching Concord and looking at the Steam charts to see how many people were playing the game. We talked about this already. So y'all didn't want to play it anyways. So why would the game going free to play be all of a sudden the thing that makes you that makes you turn around? The $40 barrier of entry is lower than $60. It's lower than $70. You know, that's, that's the standard for a video game now, $60 or $70. So going free to play just didn't make sense to me. So I'm like, okay, I will sit here and look and see what happens. But I don't think that's going to be the thing that's going to that's going to make people want to play the game. It's not people coming back because y'all barely had any people in the first place. But it's not going to make people all of a sudden want to play it. Sorry, people just didn't like the hero shooter that this game was and also they didn't like the character models because again they called that woke too so again it was just a double whammy for for concord and firewalk unfortunately unfortunately so i'm just going to read the article here uh sony has announced that firewalk studios is being shut down after the failed launch of concord shortly after the announcement became public firewalk studios took to social media to release a final statement on the closure all right, Firewalk is signing off one last time. Firewalk began with the idea of bringing the joy of multiplayer to a larger audience. <sighs> Sadly, people people had no joy. People had no joy playing this game. People didn't even play the game in the first place. They were just they were just hate watching. They were just hate watching. So there was no joy. And then it goes into more detail about what the studio was able to accomplish during this time. They said we took some risks along the way marrying aspects of card battlers and fighting games with first person shooters and although some of these and other aspects of the ip didn't land as we hoped the idea of putting new things into the world is critical to pushing the medium forward uh okay so let's see the full statement okay so they listed what they did uh navigating growing a new startup into a team during the pandemic uh firewalk was founded in 2018 uh, it was very small for the uh, first couple years. Uh, been a new customizable next generation FPS engine in Unreal 4 and 5, delivering top tier gameplay feel. 
beautiful worlds and uh performing 60 fps technical experience i want to say uh blah 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 uh yeah that all this stuff i mean cool i i respect you for listening your accomplishments but respectfully respectfully I, I don't think anybody cares he said you had joy on it <laughs> uh i can't say i did man i can't say i did uh the talent and fire walk in the level individual craft is truly world class. A team within Sony Interactive Entertainment and across the industry will be fortunate to work with them. Please reach out to recruiting at PlayStation for inquiries. And thank you to all of the many, uh, very many team partners and fans who supported us along the way. So that's that, man. That's that. Uh, like I said, it's unfortunate, but this is, I mean, this is the, the industry now. This is the video game industry. Like we're just going to, if a game doesn't do good, like it, it could be the studio's very first game that they made. It doesn't come out the, the gate being a banger, then it's out of here. Even if it does come out the gate being a banger. I mean, in case of, uh, uh, gee, now I can't freaking, uh, freaking think of the name, but the studio that, uh, the Xbox, uh, Tangent Studios, Tangent Studios. You know, it, it come out being a being a banger, being a banger like that, man. It's still still getting so nobody's safe. Nobody is safe, man. It's crazy. Like I, I truly don't understand what's going on in this industry. Like nobody gets a chance. You literally only get one chance. <laughs> like like the Eminem quote, like <laughs> like James Winston, uh, quote, you only get one shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. Like it's crazy, man. Like I I, I truly just like I, I feel for these studios, man. I feel for these studios because like you don't even you don't even get get another chance anymore man you don't even get another chance now it's just like dang all right then this ain't selling all right bye like it sucks because i would rather i would rather a developer or a studio not even take a chance uh on making something that one is already out there to a live service game stop i would just say stop <laughs> Stop making a live service game. Just stop. We have too many already. We have too many. Just don't just don't do it. If you're thinking about doing it, don't do it. That's what I would say. If you're thinking about doing it, don't do it. So with those two, man, like you just gotta you just gotta really think, man. Don't like stop stop trying to come out with something that's already out there. Stop trying to make another live service game that's just that's just trying to compete with the big dogs. Fortnite, Call of Duty, 2K, Minecraft. GTA. We know the game that y'all play. 60% of people, we need those uh broken down even more about those games. Like people invested so much time and money into those games that no, they're not gonna go play something else. They're not gonna go play something else. And I, when I thought about that, I'm like, damn, like he's right. That's that's another aspect. Not just that they love the game, it's that they've invested too much time and money into these games that have been out for like 10 years now. They're not going to go play something else. It's, it's going to be super difficult to get their time and money invested into something else. They're starting over, essentially. So they're not going to do it. And when I thought about that mindset, I'm like, damn, like, that's really how some, like, casual, like, those, those hardcore gamers that only play, like, one or two games, that's how they operate. The League of Legends player, the Overwatch players who are still there. Overwatch going 6v6 again, <laughs> by the way. I've got to talk about that. Overwatch is going 66 again. But those people who are just locked in to those games, now I understand. I truly understand now why they don't go and try other things. It's because they're way too invested. Way too invested. So another hero shooter coming out, trying to compete with Overwatch, even though Overwatch was going downhill, was not going to work because people don't want to play it anymore. They're not going to go and, and shift to your game. The only people who were somewhat interested in it were like the Sony fans who just wanted a W in the FPS market because they haven't had an FPS game since what Killzone, and, and, the, and the developer already said we're not making another Killzone. It's dead. So you have nothing else. Only Destiny, and that's not a that's not a traditional FPS. So yeah, yeah, I uh, I I feel for Firewalk Studios. Uh, it's a shame that Sony could not properly compete in the FPS market. Uh, they took a huge L here. Their 400 million is true. They did take a huge L, but they made the decision that I already knew what was coming because there's no way 
you're going to convince me that you, you bring out the game you have such a low fan base uh a player base and then you shut down you shut down the servers a week later like that's that's wild i've never seen that before never seen that before who thought squad lasted longer than than concord and that's insane that's insane man so it is what it is, man. But yeah, no, no more live server games. I agree with that, DCG. No more live server game. We need to chill. Take a take a chill on that. All right. I mean, yeah, I, it, it could be mostly Sam's fault, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Uh, last thing I want to bring up. This was this is actually pretty funny. So for all my NBA fans, <laughs> Joe Mazzula, the head coach of the Celtics, uh, he had this quote. He said, uh, he wants to bring back fighting in the NBA. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, boy, throw hands. No hands. He said the biggest thing that we rob people of from an entertainment standpoint is that you can't fight anymore. I wish you could bring back fighting. I just don't get why some sports are allowed to clear the benches. We just have a ball. The other sport has one of the hardest surfaces and playing instruments and pucks and sticks. And we're not allowed to throw down a little bit. And you know what? I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree, man. Sometimes, just, sometimes just let just let them get the issue off, bro. You let them get the issue off. I promise, not every single altercation is going to be balanced in the palace. I promise. Just, just, just let them get the issue off, bro. So I I agree. I agree. What up, man? Like let them fight, bro. Like, like I say it all the time, bro. Let these niggas fight. Sometimes you just gotta get your issue off. I'm, I'm a full I'm, I'm a full proponent of that. A full proponent of that. Let let them get the issue off, bro. So I know this will never happen, especially under Adam Silver's reign. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. David Stern, he might let them niggas fight. Adam Silver, hell no. <laughs> it ain't happening. It ain't happening. But it would be nice, you know. Just, just let them, just let them go at it, bro. You know, throw a couple punches, right? Just throw a couple punches. We see how it is at hockey, you know, just clear out, just clear, just clear them out like they do in hockey. The refs just, you know, just hover over, hover over, you know, like, all right, go ahead and get them off, you know, get a couple punches in and then, and then be done with it and then be done with it. Then break them up or, or, uh, or the teammate to break them up. You know, ain't nobody got to jump in. Ain't nobody got to jump in. Just let it happen. So I agree, man. I I agree. I think I think Joe was onto something. I think he's onto something here, man. <laughs> I think he's onto something, bro. Just let him fight. So that was, that was something I found that was funny. I thought I thought that was to be hilarious. So that's it, man. That's all I got. That's all I got.